Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRaw447 back at it again with another video, and I am sorry that it's been like almost a month. Nah, I'm just joking. You know, it's been a long time, but we're back with another episode. You guys know that I've had school, man. School's kicking my butt. Well, it's not school, it's the fact that I got football practice, and I don't get home till 6 every day, I have my first game, and once I woke up after the first game, I was pretty damn sore. But anyway, we're getting into the World Series action with the Mets versus the Tigers. Jacob DeGrom pulling the string on Miguel Cabrera as he strikes out. So, 1-1 one, one count, two outs already in the inning, one man on. And that is going to be a base hit. So, the Tigers, they're, they're coming up with some stuff right now, okay? So, they got two runners on. And when assessment is, he's the one who got that hit. But it's a 3-2 count. Jacob DeGrom, can he get the... He gets the final out on J.D. Martinez. And that will retire the side. So the Mets, they will be coming up in the bottom of the first inning. Juan Lagares, he's going to be the second man up at the plate. 0-2 is the count pitch coming. He's going to hit this one up the middle for a base hit. The first hit for the Mets in this game so far. So hey, we're starting from somewhere. David Wright locates this one, but he's going to hit into a double play. Fielded cleanly. Oh no, not fielded cleanly. And that's going to be an error. So one man on two outs. Lucas Duda just who just absolutely whiffs on that one. And that's going to be an out. So my Kudai up to bat. He's going to hit this one. It's going to be a bouncer. That's going to get one guy out and get another one out. And that will retire the inning. I mean retire the side. So and we're not doing too well in this game as Curtis Granson strikes out. That that's bad. That's really bad. I don't know what's going on. Top of the third inning though. Jacob DeGrom against Miguel Cabrera again. This one's gonna be hit into left field, and this one's gonna be fielded by Curtis Granderson. So Jacob DeGrom again, still on the mound, still cooking with grease. Strikes out another. This time it's Raji Davis, the culprit. Jose Iglesias up to bat. He already got a single in the game. Two outs, 3-2 three, count. 36 pitches already thrown. Jacob DeGrom kicks and deals, and it is going to be a fly out to left field. Curtis Grandis is not going to have any problem out there, and that will retire the side. So we come up to the top of the fourth inning. You know, one out already. Jacob DeGrom, a high fastball. Gets Jonas Cespedes, who actually plays for the Mets. He's doing really good for the Mets right now. Yeah, Jonas Cespedes is doing really good for the Mets right now. This one's going to be flown out into right field. And this is going to be out. Jacob DeGrom doing really good so far. Uh, no no uh, earned runs allowed, so that's really good. But we have not gotten... The offense that we need. And Lucas Duda, hey, he's providing a spark right now. And that is going to be a base hit for Lucas Duda. He's had an okay postseason. But Ruben Tahada up to bat. He's going to ground out right here. And that will end the inning. We just have not been able to get offense. But uh-oh, this one's hit deep into the gap. And that is going to be a double for, I believe, that is Michael Kadir. Or could it be Kevin Plawecki? I don't know. Yep, it's Michael Kadaya. I was right the first time. So now we have Jacob DeGrom up to bat. Hey, he's good at He's got a little, he's got a few wheels on him because he used to be a position player at, uh, I believe it was Stetson University where he played. So men, two men at the corners, 3-2 count for Daniel Murphy, one out in the bottom of the fifth. This one's going to be fouled back. Daniel Murphy, please do not... Please do not hit into a double play. We need to score a run. We need to score a run. This one's coming, and this one's going to be hit up the middle right off the pitcher's leg, and Daniel Murphy's going to be safe. Everybody's safe, and a man comes home to score. David Price, he is just pissed off at this point. So with two men on, one out, two outs in it, and David Wright's going to slash this one into right field. One run's going to come home, and that will make it a 2 nothing game as David Wright's get the RBI double right there off of David Price. So Lucas Duda up to bat. Let's see what he can do. Lucas Duda hits this one up the middle. That will score one run. Another run coming home. Tim Tuffle waving him. And that will be another run for the Mets. So, Rupert Sahada up to bat. Two out. This one is going to be a fly out to left field. Which one in the inning. But, nevertheless, we had four runs that inning. 
definitely what we needed. We have 10 hits in the ball game. We're eating up David Price. So two outs, two two count. This one's gonna be a base hit. Let's see if Curtis Granderson got that arm. Curtis Granderson, he's got the arm, but it was just offline. Way offline, man. That the hey, he had the arm though. He had the arm though. So two outs, one man on. This one's gonna be hit into the gap. Forget about this one. That is a homer. That is a two-run shot to make it a three-four game. So you know what I say. We gotta bring Carlos Torres in the game. Top of the seventh inning, three-two count. Let's see what Torres can do. And he strikes him out barely, but he still strikes him out nevertheless. So three-two count. Another strikeout for Torres. Torres is cooking. Torres is just cooking. Okay. Anthony Goose up to bat. 3-2 count. Can Torres do it again? Torres cannot strike him out. But it's going to be a fly out to end the inning. So Torres doesn't give up a run. That's exactly what we needed to do. Torres, he knows what to do. So Torres, I still left him in the game because I like what he was doing. And this one's going to be a fly out to mid to center, left center. I mean right center. And that's going to be an out. So Kirk Neuenheis up to bat. 3-4 ball game. Let's see what Kirk can do. We have him in. And he's going to hit a, a great, that's a great hit for Kirk actually. This one's going to hit off the wall. One run is going to come to score. And that will make it a 5-3 game right there, man. That's exactly what we needed. That's exactly what the doctor called for. And that is going to be a walk as we get another man on. That's Matt Dominguez who got who got the base on ball. So it's a 5-3 game. Two men on. 2-2 two, two count. Daniel Murphy up to bat. Daniel Murphy watches this one. Daniel Murphy says, no way, Jose. You're not going to catch me with that one today. Okay. So pitch coming, Daniel Murphy, you know, he's going to fly out. That was a nasty one. I believe he tried to check his swing a little bit, but it didn't really work out. So uh, still a 5-3 ball game. And look at this hit by Juan Lagares. This one's going to be a base hit, and that will load the bases, okay? It will load the bases up. David Wright up to bat. Three men on bases loaded. You already know what's going to happen. David Wright hits a base hit. One run will come home, and another run will come home as the Mets pretty much solidify the victory, okay? The Mets pretty much solidify this victory. So Henry Mejia... Gets the first guy with the strikeout. J.D. Martinez is like, what? Really? What? What? Yes. Yes. You got struck out. So two outs. One, two. Count. Henry Mejia. It's going to be a ground out. That would be a 3-U. A 3 unassisted as we do, in fact, win the game. Jacob DeGrom is your winning pitcher of the game. David Wright had a spectacular game. Everybody had a spectacular game. 7-3 victory in City Fields. We do seize game 2 of the World Series. So anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. More content coming your way. And peace.